hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this particular problem in this problem it is said that a small bolt cutter operated by hand for cutting small bolts and rods is shown in the sketch for a hand grip p equals to 150 newtons so we uh, here we have a force of 150 newtons applied at both the handles right so we are required to determine the force q developed by each jaw on the rod to be cut right so if we apply 150 newton force here so what will happen is that this jaw will apply the force on this uh, rod or bolt right in this direction and as a reaction what will happen is that this bolt will apply the same force on this jaw in the opposite direction right so since we will be considering uh, this jaw and this handle as a free body diagram so we will consider the forces on these jaw and this handle right so this bolt will apply the force on this jaw in the opposite direction like this right so let me draw all those forces on this free body diagram so we will have uh, this force this force is let's say q it is acting somewhere here right and this point is let's say this point is let's say point a right so i will write that this point is point a right and first let me draw that force p here right so this is that force p its magnitude is 150 newtons right so if if uh, p force is applied in this direction so what will happen is that uh, this part of the handle will go up right so this part of the handle will go up so what will happen is that this will apply the force on this jaw in the upward direction right so let me draw that force here right so this is the force of the handle on this jaw right so let's say that uh, this point is let's say b right so this is let's say that b force and what will happen is that as a reaction this jaw will apply the same force on this handle in the opposite direction right so we will have that b force which will be acting vertically downward here right and here we have uh, this joint so here we can say that uh, there will be two reaction forces let's say that one reaction force is acting in this direction and let's say that this point is o right so this will be o x and here we will have one reaction which will be acting vertically upward let's say this is o y this is that point o right and this is our positive x and y direction so now uh, if we apply the summation of moment about about point o equals to zero and we are considering the handle for the analysis right so now as we can see that uh, this b force is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point o so i will write plus b and the perpendicular distance of this point b from that point o is 30 right so the force which is acting at b is uh, 30 mm uh, is at 30 mm distance from this point o so i will multiply this with 30 right similarly this p force is producing clockwise moment about that point uh, o so i will write p which is 150 and the perpendicular distance of this p force from that point o is this 180 mm so i will multiply this with 180 and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that b into 30 is equal to this thing right so from this we can find b using calculator so b will be equal to 150 into 180 divided by 30 so this is equal to uh, 900 newton right so b equals to 900 newton so now we know this b so here uh, this is that ja let me write that this is ja right so if if uh, here th this handle is applying the force b on this ja so what will happen is that uh, uh, when when this ja will move in this direction so here this support will apply the force on this ja in the downward direction right so we will have this uh, downward force at this joint a so here we will have that force which is acting downwards right so let's say that this is that a force so now if we consider the jaw for calculation 
so now we know the magnitude of this b force which is uh, 900 newton so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero and again if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that and this q is producing the clockwise moment about this point a so i will write q and the perpendicular distance of this q from that point a is this 20 mm so i will multiply this with 20 right and this um, 900 newton force is producing a uh, counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write plus this q is producing clockwise moment so we have to write minus sign here right uh, and this b is producing counterclockwise moment so i will write 900 and the perpendicular distance of this b force from that point a is this 60 mm so i will multiply this with 60 so this will be equal to 0 and from this we can calculate this q so q will be equal to minus 900 into 60 divided by minus 20 so when we solve this so q equals to 2700 newton or we can say that q is equal to 2.7 kilonewton